happy. Whatever you gotta do, I gotta do it twice with all this walking back and forth for the vlogging business. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, join me. I'm still in Dingle. I'm on my weekend away and I've actually been joined by two other friends as well now. So there's four of us here and we're out exploring Dunmore Head. And Dunmore Head is a beautiful location here in Dingle. You've got some great visibility onto the islands that I would have photographed as well this morning. And now for sunset, the sun has completely come back around towards us and is going to set on the western horizon. The light at the moment is very, very harsh, but we're only about maybe an hour and 50 minutes away from sunset. So there's no major rush. We can take our time. We've just stopped here in one area where you've got some really jagged rocks that are leading out here. And you've also got the two stacks that are off the end of the headland here. So it'll be an interesting evening of photography. Hopefully we get some nice light and we'll get rewarded. And we'll check back in the moment once I get set up and find my first composition. First composition found now and as you can see here I've gone down low because I want to capture some of the sea pinks that are here in the grasses and some of the bits of the crags of the rocks that are sticking up leading out then as well to the headland. The sun like I said is still quite harsh so I'm shooting directly into the sun so what I've done is I've gone for f16 and I'm going for a relatively fast shutter speed it's 1 of a second ISO is at 100 and I'm going to take three shots because I'm very very close to the sea pinks that are here behind me so I'm going to take three shots to focus stack those images so that I get a sharp image the whole way through. I think it's going to be uh, a nice evening actually you probably get some nice direct light that's going to be shining across here but yeah first shot anyway in the bag I'll give you a look at this we'll see what else we can find around here.
after that incredible drone footage actually that I got there uh, we decided now to come down lower to the end of Dunmore Head and along my route here I'm looking for a subject that's going to catch the light it's going to be on the right hand side so the Sun now is nearly 40 minutes away from setting but we're starting now getting close enough to getting into golden hour and what I have here in front of me is a sequence of sea pinks that are leading down here with some jagged rocks and such like that leading out to the stacks at the end of this head and then I can also frame up one of the islands there which is the Blasket Islands. It's going to be uh, a nice shot I think. Might, might actually wait here or I might continue on further down I'm not quite sure yet and I don't really see a uh, much of a draw for me to go near the water because I've never really experienced the Atlantic to be so calm. It's a pretty much summer day, it's towards the end of May right now, but um, not going to be much movement in the water, so I don't know if I'm going to go down as far as the water's edge. I might end up just staying up here and looking for different compositions that will lead out to these stunning uh, stacks that are off this headland here. At the moment now, I'm shooting at f16, I'm at one tenth of a second, and my ISO is at 100, and I'm at 16 mil, which is the widest that I can go. Now, I've also gone in for a portrait orientation. I don't want to go into a landscape landscape right now because the sun is far too harsh at the moment. I might change that out once we get closer to golden hour and I start to get that golden light as it streams across here. And the reason I want to be able to have something as well that's going to get light from the right hand side is because everything here will glow then as that light will bounce across here and hit these areas. So if I get some nice rocks or some nice sea pinks and such like that I think I will get some nice shots so yeah I'm gonna crack on here get these ones anyway and uh, yeah we'll see then where I end up because there's a multitude of compositions to choose from in this incredible location in Dingle well the best laid plans don't always come true and whilst we had zero clouds around the entire uh, area of the sky exactly where the sun is setting guess what we have some dark clouds so the light that I was hoping to come along here and stream and bunks off these sea pinks and these rocks is not going to materialize now I can only hope that in the far distance here that those clouds actually catch and that's the only real kind of respite that I can get at sunset we're probably what 15 minutes away now from the sun setting but that is quite a thick and dark bank of clouds um, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get any further light anyway in this direction. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to aim out towards on Far Marav and some of the other islands here, uh, the Blasket Islands and such like that and like I said hope then that I get a, a nice bit of residual light after the sun sets. Now there's a very unusual cloud as well that's just sitting above the main bank of clouds at the moment might get a shot of that, see what that is. And a moment ago as well, before the sun set, uh, behind those clouds, there's a number of sheep that were playing around here, basically, and I managed to get a couple of shots as well, I think, of them looking out with the sun setting behind them. I also went down further along here just to try and find the composition before that light uh, disappeared. And that could be also another nice shot as well. Beautiful area to be able to take some photographs. Really happy uh, that I'm here, of course, but I'll just wait now for the last of the light and we'll aim out towards the uh, the west uh, well the northwest really because we're almost in the peak of summer here and uh, yeah hope I get an extra bit of light anyway at that point well that's a wrap uh, I didn't get any more light on the western horizon as you can probably see here there's a hue behind me with the belt of venus that's lighting up but there's nothing there to be able to shoot from a focal point of view still nonetheless i think i still managed to get a couple of nice shots i threw on my long lens there while i was waiting and with the uh, fading light i managed to get a long exposure shot as well by utilizing the sea pinks and then onto the stacks that are coming off the end of the head here it's been a great evening great evening with friends and yeah even though I, like i said i didn't get the light i still think i got some nice shots i'm going to finish up this episode thank you very much as always for joining me if it's your first time on the channel please hit the subscribe button give me a like give me a comment and until the next time Schlange gefallen.